Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here from The Automator. And the other day, Isaias mentioned something in passing. And so we came up with this little quiz. So he's going to share a screen here. We want to know, <laughs> tell us what you think is going to happen when yeah. this runs. So, so you have this, these three icons here. And I'm going to just go ahead and use the message box there. What do you think should happen at that point? Just think about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, the point is, if I go ahead and run this, you'd be surprised to see text in that. Like, right? Now, what happens is each of those guys is a variable at the moment. And let me just go ahead and show the other piece of the code. And what happens is this is actually the correct um, <laughs> uh, information there. Now, what, what's going on is that each of these icons now is a variable. And that's what I mentioned to you in passing, like, oh, um, variable names not only use um, uh, normal ASCII codes like this, but they could also be non-ASCII code. And as soon as I said that, so right now, this is a valid variable name. So this is a test. And if I use that here instead of these guys, what is going to happen is that it should work just fine even though I have a non-ASCII character there, and that's what actually uh, I discovered recently. And then we extended that and said, oh, so icons are actually non-ASCII code. So they could be a variable on their own. <laughs> so that's where that came from. So I'm really curious if anyone watching this video knows, do you know any other language that allows you to use emojis as variables in the programming language? Like, I, I would be really surprised. Actually, show the other, share your screen again real quickly, because it just looks better on in VS Code. Um, so do the Windows dot and then uh -huh. type, type the globe. This was my idea for global variables. So, so, so put it <laughs> right, in the that, That's what I was going to say. Like, yeah, yeah now this is my var. Yeah. Test. And now this is a very quick way for me to know that that variable is a global variable. Well, just you need to I define that. it as global, but right, yeah. The, no, no, of course, of course. Uh, so, so if I say global, yeah, but, right. but imagine putting this in your variable name, you would always know, like, oh, that's a global variable. Like, how could I mistake that, right? Right, and and it might sound like, oh, but that's a little bit of an issue. But now you can access those by using the Windows dot. Right, so Windows right. key, the dot key, it would show up with this emoji uh, thing. And now you can use any emoji for right. your variables and it's gonna work just fine. Now uh, it was, uh, this, is, this is the question, like why would I need to know that? Well, in this situation, in this instance, it's interesting to know that you could use um, um, emojis in your variable names, but not only that, I could use other characters. In my case, I was using the dot to do a separation between those two things. Or I could definitely just use certain things, like for example, that to denote functions, my name. And now anything that is like that is a function, for example. Or if I have variables that only have handles in them, like numbers that are handled, I could use a different sign. And any variable that starts with that, I could quickly realize that is a handle. Usually what they do is that they put an H in front of it and that tells it's a handle, but somehow now I could just use that and I know for sure it's a handle name or so on. So that's kind of like the use and we just wanted to share, hey, you can do that. Just just if you didn't know that. Yeah, so I'm, I really want to see some really ugly looking code now out there with emojis in it. Like you imagine looking in the forum and you're like, what the <laughs> hell is this person doing? <laughs> That's Seriously, correct. if That's you funny. know of any other language that would allow you to use emojis, like I'm, I'm really curious because I just and actually just the emoji as a variable name. Wow, that's that's interesting. Yeah. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please like the video if you found it fun. Uh, not if you learn. I guess you could have learned something, right? I sure did. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to uh, borrow some of that, but it is really fascinating to know that you can use those things. Cheers. Bye.